Welcome to the Rosanna Mod Variety Pod. This is your vessel and host, Rosanna Moduño, and here we go. Good morning, friends. This is Rosanna Moduño. And welcome to episode 187, 187, Today Friday Foods. We have how to make tomato jelly or jam homemade. There are different ways online to do them. It doesn't take that long, about 40 minutes, 45 minutes tops. You just need tomatoes. Now the the trick in the tomatoes is the type of tomatoes. A lot of the regular tomatoes, the, the big fat ones, for example, they, I know they have names. Okay, I'm just gonna call them the big fat tomatoes. <laughs> They have a lot of water in them, and uh, you don't want the tomatoes with a lot of water in them. You want something that has less water in it and less seeds. So the Roma tomatoes or the plum tomatoes, those are the ones with the fewer seeds and the less water. So I like those the best. I don't like them running all over the place. You want the water to evaporate when you're cooking, so the less water, the better. So get yourself some tomatoes. What you need is one and a half uh, pounds of tomatoes, one teaspoon of cumin, three tablespoons of olive oil, two garlic cloves, sometimes I add more, one tablespoon of red wine vinegar, a quarter cup of brown sugar, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now, sometimes I don't use the salt, but I do in this recipe. Some people add pepper, some people add onions. It's up to you. I don't like the onions in my jam, okay? So that's what I use. Now the first step you're gonna do is you're gonna toast the cumin seeds, and then you're gonna add the two cloves of the uh, garlic, and you're gonna add the uh, olive oil, the wine vinegar, and you just put it on medium heat and just cook that a little bit, not very long, maybe 10 minutes. Then you're going to add the tomatoes, Now, here's the trick. A lot of people out there skin the tomatoes and uh, take out the seeds. Personally, I like all of it in there. I like the skin of the tomato. I like feeling the skin of the tomato in my jelly. I like the seeds in my jelly. It just seems more natural to me. And also incorporating a lot of the vitamins that's in there and getting as much as I can out of the fruit is what I like to call organic. So if I take out the skin and I take out the seeds, I'm taking out most of it. I'm only gonna use the meat of the tomato. I feel like I got ripped off somehow. Do you know what I mean? So cut it up into small pieces, dice it, and then just add it right into the mixture. And then I add the sugar, quarter pound of brown sugar or maple sugar, and the quarter teaspoon of salt, very little salt. Sometimes I don't use salt at all, like I said. And then I put that on medium heat until the liquid evaporates and it's nice and gooey. That's going to take about 15 minutes. And basically that's it. It's done. All you have to do at that point is just uh, put it into a jar. You refrigerate it for up to one week to last longer. You can freeze it. You know, I'll use it like right away. Within the week, it'll be gone. So I don't have to freeze it. But if you're going to make a lot Maybe you're thinking about giving it away or like for um, maybe Thanksgiving dinner or something. You want to bring something. That's a good thing to bring. Get yourself some nice little jars, some nice jelly jars. Label them, you know, Happy Thanksgiving. Here you go. Wrap them up. Put a little bow on them. That's a really good little gift to bring to somebody's house. That's nice. And crackers. That's good, right? Think about that. You can also use green tomatoes and make green jelly. If you don't like the color of green and red, make a like a Christmassy type gift. That's not bad, right? A little basket with one of each. Just remember that when you freeze it, don't put it in glass jars because the glass is going to bust. Okay, so don't put it in glass jars. Put it in either a can or in a plastic Tupperware, but don't put it in glass. It, it'll crack. I've used the regular jars and they've broken on me. Now, maybe it's because the glass was too thin. Maybe you have like a thicker type of 
I don't know. I just don't trust it. So I'd rather not because I've done it two times already. I would just prefer to put it in a plastic container in the freezer. And then when I want to get it out, I defrost it. And then I put that into a nice jelly jar. And that's a nice little gift to bring to somebody for Thanksgiving dinner or Christmas dinner. Not a bad idea. Some nice like crackers with that. I wouldn't put saltine crackers with that, but maybe some nice uh, hmm, like Ritz type crackers. Those are pretty good. All right. Well, anyway, so that's all I have for you today. Enjoy my jam. Jamming with roe. Tomato jamming. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know. All my music always sounds like porn music. I have no idea why. It's I'm stuck in the 70s sometimes. It happens. Okay. Stuck in the 70s. So on that note, I will let you go. I'll talk to you tomorrow for Saturday Spanish, Spanglish, Espanol con Rosana, la Latina. Hey, if you're interested in listening to me on Saturdays, that's what I be talking about. <laughs> Not like that. You know, not be talking because I don't talk that way. But you will be, you know, whatever. I'm rambling. Okay, I got to go. Now I sound like Paul Rudd. All right, talk soon. And how do we end this? In with the outro. Thanks for stopping in. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. And I'll talk to you soon. God bless you. And what do we say? Ciao.